It's time for a celebration. <laughs> Join me as I show you how I created a fun sight word picture book and music video for the little kids in your life. Hi there, I'm Kathy, a former elementary teacher turned children's book author, and I am ready to help you publish your amazing children's book and launch your very own publishing company. Now today's video has a very special book that I am so excited to share with you. In fact, it's the very first book that I published, and it's called Don't Be Tardy to the Sight Word Party. This story is a cute little story of the sight words who are rushing from their home across the hillside, across the countryside, and they are on their way to a very special party for their friend. And before they arrive, their friend is sitting at home all by himself. It's almost time for his birthday party and none of his friends are there. So you can see their special friend shedding tears here on this page. And then he hears a knock at his door and to his surprise, there are his friends, the sight words and the high frequency words. And they come with their gifts, with their balloons and they have a very great, big, special celebration for the word the. And of course, what is a party without dancing? So all the words hit the dance floor and they have a wonderful dance birthday party. And I like to end my instructional and educational books with all of the words there. So when students complete the story, this is a great place for them to review all of the words and parents and teachers can give them a little quiz and they can see where their students are, how many words they know, which words they're still struggling with. So I like to include that at the back, at the end, at the rear of my books. Now, as a former kindergarten teacher, I know how challenging it could be to teach some students the sight words and high frequency words that they have to learn in kindergarten. Many times they begin learning these words in preschool, so I wanted to create a book that teachers could use as a great and fun supplement to sight word and high frequency word instruction. So I began with the Dolch sight words list. I chose the Dolch list instead of the Fry list because I knew my target was preschool and kindergarten. And the Fry list, the first Fry 100 words can have some upper level words, so I just wanted to focus on the pre K and kindergarten level. So I chose the Dolch word list for pre-K and kindergarten for a total of 92 words. Now, the challenge was sitting down to write a rhyming book that included 92 sight words. So I sat down, I organized them, I had my little table and I sorted them by rhyming words and some of them rhymed, some of them didn't, some of them were a little tougher to work with, but we managed to fit it all together so that they all rhyme in this beautiful book. And when it was time to illustrate my book, I went to my favorite, Canva. For this book, I wanted it to look very crafty, if you will. So I decided to let the 92 sight words be the characters in my story. And that wasn't difficult to illustrate at all. I just typed the words, chose a very fun font that would be a little thick so children could see the words and you know they can actually look like characters in the story. And I just put some party hats on the words and now I have 92 characters in my book that are words. And for the buildings that you see in this story, I chose to use a table. I used a table and it had various numbers of rows and columns for the different tables and I changed the column line width to make the buildings look different, but it was really simple. It just got a little creative, a little imaginative, and my little city, my little town, and even my countryside came together very well. For my countryside, I used the circle shape or oval shape in Canva, whichever you want to call it. It started out as a circle, 
but I made it into an oval and I added a border to it and it, it's a fun little heel and heel side and I did use a pre-built or pre-created pre-illustrated road for my highway I could have created it myself but you know look good so I'll just use that one <laughs> so I use that road and I have a little city I have a little scene that's one thing I love about Canva is I can create different scenes just using shapes and using the bare minimum of illustrations and images that are already created in Canva I like the challenge of being creative and creating like dinosaurs or cars or anything from just shapes and I think you should try that too it's a very fun kind of relaxing experience so you can get creative and you never know what you might be able to create so I I'm very happy with this book. It was my creative juices on display, if you will, my very first book that I published. And now I would love to raise just a couple of pages for you so you can see how the words rhyme and how it's just a fun adventure for littles so they can learn their sight words and high frequency words. Don't be tardy to the sight word party by Kathy Smith. The clock struck three. It was the date. They had to rush or they would be late. Off ran Am did come and we and said and in and can and see. Off rushed ran have like and where and funny and was and all and there. Off sped our fine please and my and will and saw and out and I. Now, this book is just the beginning of the fun. As you know, I like to create videos and songs to go along with my children's books. I like to find all the opportunities to engage students. So for this book, I created a video, a music video to go along with it. And let me tell you, I love this video. I almost couldn't get it published on YouTube because I was dancing to it. I couldn't stop dancing to the video. It's so much fun. And if you listen to it, I think you'll dance to it as well. So for this video, it was pretty easy because my story, my words were already written and set up in rhyme format. So all I had to do was take my story or my words as I had written them to rhyme and just put them to a beat and a song was born. And this song is so much fun because it's not just a song, it's also a dance. So at the end of the song, I included a dance. They're dance steps, kind of like, you know, I'm a little old school. I don't know all these new dances that are coming out, but it's akin to maybe the electric slide or the cha-cha slide or you know, those types of dances, the line dances. So I included a dance that students could do and it's at the end of the song. So of course we have to do our work first and then we can play. So when they go through the song and they review all of the 92 words, then they can do the dance at the end. And it's so much fun. I'll let you listen to a snippet right here, but be sure to visit my Beatbox Beats YouTube channel so you can see and dance to the song in its entirety. Guess what? I did not stop there. So I have the children's book, the picture book, I have the song and video, and I also wanted to create an activity book or a workbook that children could use to extend their sight word and high frequency word learning and study. So I created the activity books or workbooks and you can see a sample of them here and I created a sight word workbook for three different grade levels and then I created one workbook that's all fun, different fun activities that are for 
this picture book and this song and you can see it here so there are many ways for students to learn and I think parents would be appreciative and teachers as well that they have these resources there's a picture book there's a fun dance and then there's some applications some extension activities where students can actually practice writing and spelling and reading the sight words and high frequency words and I didn't stop there. So I have the picture book, the music video, the workbooks, and I wanted to create another engaging resource for students. So I created stickers, sticker sheets. And parents might get a little upset with me, but I think it's worth it if their children learn the sight words and high frequency words. So I created sticker sheet packs and students can stick the sight words on their notebooks, on their lunch boxes, book bags, on the back seat of the van, whatever they want to do with the, their stickers that their parents would allow them to do. So students can fill their world with the sight words and high frequency words and the more they're exposed to them, the easier it is for them to learn them. And why is it important to learn the sight words and high frequency words anyway? Well, I help students with their reading fluency because the sight words and high frequency words occur a lot in their reading material and many of these words are words that students can't sound out or blend and a lot of them have spelling patterns and sound patterns that students won't learn until maybe the first or second grade so when they see these words in kindergarten they need to be able to read them so that's why it's so important for students to have that sight word and a high frequency word instruction and these are some supplements some resources that can help parents and teachers as their children are learning I hope you've enjoyed this behind the scenes look on how I created a picture book, a music video, and a workbook and sticker set to help students learn their sight words and high frequency words. And if you're a teacher, don't forget you can learn how to create your own books at Teacher Authors Academy. And if you're not a teacher, I've created a creative space just for you at Summa Creative Studios. You can check out the link to both in the description. It's time for a celebration. <laughs> Woo!